So we are back and we will give a quick example of Python first. So let's see, let's go to my screen. So here we are. I think I can remove this web browser and focus on terminal. So let's see, um, somewhere I had created something, so CD. So I made a demo Python directory and here under code, oh, I have nothing. Um, Python or, so I'm copying this pi thing to code. And here I have a requirements file. So it has the different software packages that I need to use. So here I've just written the package NetworkX, but I could write other things. Um, so what is this requirements file? So, um, so this is a Python construct. So it says all the Python packages that your code needs. So what I want to do is make my own virtual environment in order to run things. So that way, um, Let's see, so that like all, all my dependencies are together. So I can take this and run it on Triton, on my laptop, on anywhere else, and then it will just work without having to like deal with all the requirements. And I'm adding some common Python packages here. Um, let's see. So first I will load Anaconda. And then I will create a virtual environment. And this creates, um, let's see. So Python M tells it to use the virtual, the VN module to create a directory called VN. So after a little bit of time, I see now there's, oops, the end here. So I can source uh, VN bin activate like this. Okay, there we go. And now I can do pip install dash r requirements.txt. And now everything's getting installed to this requirements. And it will be a short time for it to finish. Okay, so now let's make a script. Uh, Submit.sh. Bash, hmm. that bash is a bit unreadable. Maybe I'll use nano. Yeah, I think it's better to use yeah. probably okay. a good um, editor. Uh, S batch. I'll use four CPUs. So first I'll do module purge to get rid of all loaded modules. And then I will do. Is the CPUs syntax okay? Shouldn't it be CPUs per task? Yeah, probably. Good point. That's why you're here. And then let's see. Do you remember the environment variable for number of things? Uh, Slurm CPUs per task, I think. Okay, there we go. And then how many iterations will this be? Let's say uh, 5 million iterations. So is my code going to work? Maybe first I'll test it locally. So I save 
And here's the code I want to run. Python 3 code threads equals 4. And let's run this with 5000. So we see it worked. And I could tell it to use four threads. And this was running on the login node, which is not what we want to do in general, but is fine for something that takes two seconds. So let's try submit again. Um, submit.sh, submitted, slurm q. It says it's done. If I ls, I see an output file. I will open this output file and I see it says it's using four threads, apply estimate, there. There seems to be something okay. wrong with the environment activation. The VN of three uh, is probably the wrong name. Okay, yeah. So in this case, it didn't actually need to use the virtual environment I set up. Uh, let's try it again. We submit it. We see it's running. It's done. We see output. And there we see it worked. And now with this requirements file, I can take this and install the same things on my laptop or some other cluster. And the code will hopefully just work as usual. Could this uh, environment been created with Conda? Yeah, or so do we have to use virtual environment? Yeah, so if you're doing something that's a bit more advanced and needs more complicated packages, I'd recommend a Conda environment instead. But that's something that you can read about yourself. We have instructions on that. So Conda and virtual environment are similar. Virtual environment is Python only and Conda is both Python and many other languages. Okay, so with that said, let's end.